pigeon. In general, nobody really has the answer, so for the purposes of this episode, we're going to consider pigeon and dove to be words that can be used interchangeably in describing any of the birds from the family Columbidae. If you want to get specific, you can follow the trend of most ornithologists and call the bigger doves pigeons and the smaller, longer-tailed ones doves. But just remember that the pigeons typically seen in cities are really rock doves, and the doves released at weddings are really homing pigeons. So we choose not to get specific. There are somewhere around 300 different species of pigeons in the world, and all of them share three things in common. They all produce crop milk, which is the substance they use to feed their young. They all suck up water to drink it, something most birds don't or are simply unable to do. And they all walk as if they are on a mission. Just look at that strut. Yes, I do feel like I need to point out in this episode that Brewster, the pigeon from Animal Crossing, does in fact spit into your drink if you ask him to include pigeon milk in it. Now that we've shattered some childhoods, mine included, we can continue. Doves live all over the world, with the exceptions of remote places such as inside a volcano and, drumroll please, Antarctica. It's, it's Antarctica. Of course it's Antarctica. What else would you expect on an episode of Animal Fact Files? They dwell nearly anywhere from grasslands to forests to deserts to cities. In fact, it's believed that the now extinct passenger pigeon may have been the most abundant species of bird to ever live. Until we came along, that is. They're hardy creatures, and they look it, too. With plump, meaty bodies built with strong flight muscles, in the ones that fly anyway, these birds seem to flourish everywhere they live. Pigeons come in a wide variety of colors, from stark white to green to blue, purple, and gray. They boast quite the spectrum throughout the species. They can weigh anywhere from an ounce to over six pounds. They eat mostly fruit and seeds, though will occasionally eat insects and lizards from time to time. They're eaten by other, bigger birds, primarily falcons and hawks. They're usually monogamous, at least for each breeding season, and will typically lay two eggs per nest, though some larger species may lay only one. Both parents will incubate the eggs, usually alternating, the male during the day and the female at night. The eggs hatch after about 15 days, and the baby birds, called squabs, will leave the nest after about 15 more days. How long they live really depends on the species, though they do tend to live longer in captivity. Doves are the victim of probably the two most well-known bird extinctions caused by humans. The aforementioned passenger pigeon was hunted in droves throughout the 1800s and by the early 1900s went extinct. The crazy part of that story is that they really were thought to be the most abundant bird on the planet, with flocks guessed to reach possibly millions of members. Billions, rather. It's billions, that's a lot bigger. Apparently their migration would blacken skies for minutes due to their grand population. I can't decide if that's inspiring or terrifying. Both is good. The other species of pigeon that we knocked right off the food chain was the dodo. Yes, those fat, oddly shaped, big beaked dodos were actually members of the pigeon family. It's all in the eyes, man. It's all in the eyes. Dodos are widely accepted to have disappeared off the face of the earth circa 1662, and many believe that our modern day depiction of them may not even be completely true to their form. Fossil records are scarce at best, and the last known drawing of one from life only includes a dodo's head. Still, the idea of a cooing dodo is one I'll keep close to my-